are live, so let's get the game going. Alright, should be... Oh, am I already having internet connection issues? I guess that's uh, par for the course with uh, internet stuff. Streaming experiencing minor issues. Stream quality is good. I think this may be a... Um, Resident Evil issue, maybe? Yeah, it's specifically whenever the game opens. It's not playing well. Wow, Resident Evil 2 just does not like being open for whatever reason. Okay, so we're going to quit out and then open it from scratch and see if that does anything whatsoever. Because it kind of seems whenever we get in game for it. Hey, Mac. Yeah, this is a new new room if you see the new background and whatnot. So let's get Resident Evil 2 going. Yeah, no, there, there shouldn't be any performance issues. It's a very incredibly stupidly over the top, top of the line fucking uh, PC. There should be no issues with this game being captured whatsoever. Everything's maxed out. Hi, Mac. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, it, it's showing performance issues for whatever reason. Maybe this game just doesn't like OBS for some reason? Because I could have sworn I turned on VSync. And, um, we got fixed. Let's see, turn VSync off. Does that help? No. Okay. So VSync does. Maybe I turn it back on because I believe that's what I what's what fixed the issue previously. VSync on. No, it's not doing it. Uh, let's try 60. It's gonna cap my frame rate. Oh! That fixed the issue. Capping it at 60 seems to work for whatever reason. So I guess that's how we're gonna have to do it. Um, note to self. Uh, oh, I actually do have a pen in front of me. I'm gonna make a quick little note for when I edit this. Uh, start at 3... 30 for good measure. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and start our little adventure here. I was planning on playing this Hello? with a uh, mouse there? and keyboard, but um more familiar with this game far far more with a controller, so that's what we are going to be sticking with. Something's not right. Okay. Of course, I already know what's gonna happen around here. Walk around. All right? This dude spilled ketchup all over him. Ominously points I'll be back. towards the door. There's nothing behind the door. You you must be confused. Stop moving. Officer, you need help? Stay back, sir. I got this. God, I fucking love that shot. All right. And honestly, this game just feel. Matt, can you stop fucking with my chair? Yeah, uh, this game just feels infinitely better to play with a controller. Resident Evil 7 feels infinitely better with a mouse and keyboard. 
And that has a lot to do with the first person uh, camera perspective. Yeah. Alright, got that open. And now, uh, not super pressed for ammo, but we're basically just gonna run past everything we can. So we get this little cutscene. Don't shoot! Get down! <laughs> All right? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later, when we're safe. Holy shit. technical um, issue is that this game does not like being captured at anything more than 60 frames. The stream tends to freak out for whatever reason. I don't, I don't know what the fuck that's about. What the hell is going on? I don't know. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah. Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop too. And slight confession, I have not played the original Resident Evil 2, or I did play when I was a kid, but um, I basically have zero re recollection of it. So as far as comparing and contrasting this, um, this remake between the original, um, I don't really have much to say in that regards. I, I guess like the closest experience I have with the Resident Evil 2 um, story, campaign, whatever you want to call it, would be the uh, Umbrella, Umbrella Chronicles, which was a on-rail shooter for the Nintendo Wii, which was later ported to the PS3, which you could actually play with a normal controller, or you could use the PlayStation Move if you felt like doing that. Um, that's kind of most of my experience with Resident Evil 2. Or no, that wasn't in Umbrella Chronicles. That was in uh, Dark Side Chronicles, the uh, sequel, which covered 2, Veronica, and then its own separate uh, campaign. You okay over there, Mac? Oh well. Attention all citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak, you are advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone. Like, I get the rationale of Leon, like, he, he's the new cop, he just wants to be around other police officers, they might have a better idea of what's going on, but... You would imagine that downtown city areas would be bad for fucking, uh... Pandemic areas for fucking zombie outbreaks. There has to be. Granted, they're young and naive. Plus, for whatever reason, any kind of zombie movie or game, uh, no one has ever heard of zombies before. So, uh, they they don't have any uh, any notion of what to expect. <laughs> That is a phone call. I will be right back. I apologize about that. Might be an important call. So I'll be right back.
Never mind, not anything incredibly pressing. Basically just Comcast reaching out saying like, hey, that appointment you made, it's still happening. Uh, I already knew it was happening. <laughs> Didn't have to like reconfirm with a robot voice. And there's a trucker from the beginning. There, get out. Get out now! Never gotta finish his burger. Hold on! I will say from what I've heard and seen from the original game. Uh, with Leon and Claire having a bit more drastically of, uh, of a different kind of like split campaign between the two of them. It doesn't seem remake, uh, the RE2 remake right here didn't fully go down that path. It's like maybe 80% the same with some, with some slight differences. But overall, this is the final product still pretty damn great. Claire! Claire, are you okay? Are you gonna leave me alone, Cat? No? Yeah. I'm just gonna run around? I'm all right. How about you? <laughs> can't stay here, it's not safe. Go on ahead. I'll meet you at the station. I'll be there. Yeah, I believe it's an incident basically exactly this like control. this, where Leon and Claire get separated in the original. Oh. Uh let's juke around to you. Can you stop swiping at me, Mac? Alright, so let's not waste any ammunition because we don't Shit. need to. It's everybody. They've all turned. There it is. The station. Alright. Yeah, I, I would say that for most of the encounters in this game, you really don't have to shoot bullets. And even when you are, it's not necessarily to kill any zombies. It's more so to deter them so that you can run past them. In that sense, you're not killing anything. You're, um, you're using resources to bypass puzzles. The puzzles being the zombies. So you need to kind of like limit the amount of trips that you're making in every direction or so, uh, purely just because um, you only have so much uh, resources to use so that you can bypass enemies. And one nice feature in here compared to Resident Evil 7 is the map, which will let you know if you've already collected all the items within an area or not. Hello? Um, so in that sense, you is don't even need the... Um, the, what was it, the Psycho Stimulants from Resident Evil 7 to like find everything because you'll know anyway if you have them or not. And I believe the first thing we have to do is just kind of go through this vent, but we will go ahead and watch this. There not vent, the uh, gate. Not good. This dude's about to get. Oh, no, pushed him back. He's already bitten though. Or no, or was he reaching for like his uh, walkie-talkie? I guess. I gotta find that guy. <laughs> Leon is so fucking baby face in here compared to what he's probably gonna look like in Resident Evil 4, where he's freaking suave and mature and shit. But for now, we have baby face Leon. Um, I don't even remember where the other items in this place are. But we're basically going through here. This is one horror trope you should probably avoid if you find yourself in a horror situation. Don't crawl under things like this, especially when they can come down and fucking crush the shit out of you. I wouldn't know. I would not be having any of this shit right now. No fucking way in hell.
Okay. And the fuse for that, which we don't have. It's creaking in here. I wonder why. We'll find out. Stuff in here, but I don't believe we can even grab any until the lights are on. Which is a little arbitrary. And good ammo. That's it, yeah. See? Yep, it turns blue if you found everything, so you don't have to bother scouring around. Very nice and welcome addition. But I am going to change my sound setting. Headphones. 7.1 surround. Yes, please. <laughs> Playing horror games with surround sound headphones can add so much to the experience, but at the same time, it can... Uh, Make it a lot. It can it can make you a lot better player, but um, especially if you're playing like something like Apex or Siege, you want to like hear where people's footprints are. But uh, if you're a scaredy cat, it can make the experience so much worse. Hey Corey, is this the Leon Kennedy dating sim? I I wish, I sincerely wish that, but it is not unfortunately. If, if you buy a Leon Kennedy action figure, you, you can make him do whatever Jesus. you want, Corey. <laughs> Open up! Hurry! Open up! Oh, oh yeah, Open these it. doors don't get marked as, like, locked on the map until you interact with them, so... Uh, if, if I do still go towards doors that I know for I'll a damn fact are locked, that's specifically why, just for note-keeping purposes. Please! Come here, help me! I got you. I love like how even how they're even using some freaking stock horror sound effects like the fucking meat tearing. I I have fucking action essentials too. I know those sound effects. And they're, you know, adding stuff on top of that, adding other layers, reverbing, whatever. And this is just fucking beautiful horror 101 and Leon just not even phased by the dude having half his fucking body torn off. He just doesn't give a shit. Alright, so we have a notes that shows us the medallion sequences we need to put in for these statues in order to get medallions from them. Alright, so like I said, we're not here to kill enemies, just to run past. That's what bullets are for here. That's locked. Oh, dude, I would I would throw up so fucking bad. They're everywhere. Like, I, I think, like, people have an idea of, like, how to deal with gore just because they've seen movies or whatever, but that shit a person's got to be so much worse. <laughs> but Leon's not fucking phased. He doesn't care. And this is exactly why you don't use shit like this in a horror set. In a horror situation. <laughs> Like I said, that that gate can uh, can kill you. Marvin Brown. Leon Kennedy. There was another officer I could. I could. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm sure you did what you could, Leon. There's a bit more of a um. They. I don't even want to say they go into how did Marvin actually get bit. Um, they, they, they show how he gets bit in Resident Evil 3 remake. It's not like this huge big revelation, but it is a nice little tie in between 2 and 3 remake. I wish I'd come here sooner. He's all I expected as much when I came here. Then maybe you shouldn't have come here, Leon. Should have known better. You're already on the outskirts. You should have fucking dipped. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. Mm. This is good news. We can get you to a hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie. You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I'd just slow you down. 
now. You'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. Them. And don't make my mistake. Turn my notifications off. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out. Question for you, Corey, because I know Marvel is already dead in the original R3. Yeah, that's yes, true. Um, question for you, Corey. Uh, when Marvin later reanimates and he's just running around doing his thing in this one limited area of the game, uh, do you usually kill him or do you leave him to do to be a zombie self? I don't think I've done anything consistently. I think I've just kind of let him do his thing just so I don't have to spend the ammo. In the remake, they frame it where Carlos is there before Leon or Claire get there. But in the original, they're already there by the time Jill gets there. Yeah, that that would be correct. Alright, so I need to go... I think there's like some ammo upstairs, whatever, but we don't need it. I've, I've fucking uh, speedrun this game. I have all the achievements on Xbox. I got nothing left to prove. This is not how I imagined my first day. You think you usually leave them? I would like to think if I got zombified, you would you would spend the one shotgun shell on me, Corey. <laughs> I think this is basically going to be up there for me with like Resident Evil 4, like even Dead Space 2, where I'm going to try to do like a playthrough of it. Maybe like once a year or so. Just because if you already know what you're doing, it's pretty short. The shotgun is messy. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. Fucking Leon's not even like gross out. He's just looking like, oh damn, that's fucked up. That's cool, bro. <laughs> Let me look at it. <laughs> like if he was grossed out, he would have put he would not have even grabbed it. He would have like looked at it from like here, like, oh. Yeah, he's dead. Maybe I should dip. But instead he fucking holds the head up, he looks he's like, damn, that's cool. I believe this guy falls down at some point. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, of course, when I walk into it. Alright. Having too much fun. A handgun might be easier. I, I'm no expert. I'm gonna run past you. There's nothing even in this hallway. And I believe they can bust in here also, so we're just going to dip as soon as we can. There's a sparkly somewhere? Shimmer, sparkly, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Just notes. We're mainly just here for the key. Oh, I don't want to go there yet. But they are coming. There's the map. Can't use that yet. Yeah, I, I just, um, so for anyone else watching this at a later time, when it goes on YouTube, whatever, I got a comment on our Resident Evil 4 remake video that said, you know, I have the quote right here. It says, to be honest, Resident Evil 2 was a hype, they wasted so much potential, and RE3 was worse. So why should Resident Evil 4 remake be any better? I'm sure it will be a cash grab too. This franchise was the reason I didn't give up gaming, and Capcom ruined it. I... I just have no idea how to respond to like a comment like that left on my video. And so I'm just like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, Resident Evil 2 remake is a fucking hell of a game. Like, I have never heard a single person like besmirching it in the slightest. Like, I think like the biggest complaint I've heard was um, that they wish there was more like B story stuff or a bigger emphasis on that. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Oh, you know what? I told myself I was gonna cheat and like write down the frickin' save combinations and shit. Cause I... When you're, when you're speedrunning, you don't have time to like go open the safes in the uh, correct order. You just kinda remember them when you do it like that. One of these is cap, I know that, and then... I forget what this one is. Shit. I know this one's cap, right? 
No, fuck. One of these things is capped somewhere. Um, let's see, give me one sec. <laughs> just because this will make the playthrough so much smoother if we just go ahead and look this up. Uh, let's see, RE2 remake codes. It's not cheating because I have beat this game many, many times. I just didn't remember it because I haven't played this in like over a year. Okay, there we go. Um, there's so much content in Resident Evil 2 Remake. Yeah, just like with both campaigns, and then you play them on hardcore, which makes it even harder. Um, I don't. Is there anything higher than that in here? I don't remember. But um, yeah, then the B story for each character, and then you still have the A for each. It's it's a lot of stuff. Resident Evil 3 was a little lacking in that department. Um, Ned and... Come on, stupid thing. I, I don't want notifications, PC gamer. Sorry. Alright, so it's MRG. Let me just pause time and uh, do this while the zombie's shuffling towards me. I know, this one's Ned. And then this one's MRG. Could have done guesswork, which I think I've done for a couple of these at what some the? point. Alright. Um, high capacity. Let's just go ahead and upgrade you. Should be stuff somewhere around here. I need a key for this, though. Which we don't have. And I think there's something over here, but if I do that, that guy's gonna get all pissed off and come after me. We have plenty. Oh shit. Fuck out the way. Alright, and password for you is. Let's see. What is the code for you? First floor, there we go. That is left nine. I used to have these memorized because I did like freaking six speed runs back to back, so you kind of have to in that case. 15 and seven. These are the worst designed safes in the history of fucking forever. But yeah, having, having these hit pouches immediately, you're just gonna make the playthrough so much smoother. And we've cleared everything. Uh, don't walk past that guy, because he'll come up and want to do bad things. Uh, safety deposit room. Fuck, I already. Damn it, one of the wrong thing to Are you gonna come in or. Oh, shit! Damn it! out the way. There we go. Blah, blah, blah. We need the keys for that. So I believe it's what? Two and three you're missing? So we can open only the stuff on one. Which would be 109, 106. <laughs> Give me my fucking knife back. 106 and 109. Alright, I think that's all I can get. Give me my knife. And I believe they do away with the knife equipment in the Resident Evil 3 remake. Which I'm not too upsetty spaghetti with. Like, they're, they're mainly just a skin. I don't use them as, like, actual weapons here. I just use them as, uh, a means of escape. Okay, we have one over here. God, I, I already know there's gonna be fucking lookers down here eventually. That just, ah, it's gonna be a pain in the dick. 
just board you up. So we're gonna have to come back through here eventually. All right, there's a safety, or not safety, safe fucking item box. All right, only need one healing item at any given time. I don't need that roll because I already know what's on it. More gunpowder. And a memo. Whoops. Just more memos explaining how herbs work, but I already know. Red herb. Yeah, I, I like to go very, very light on resources. I like to have a backup of like basically ammo and health, and that's it. Um, you get that Resident Evil 2 is kind of meant to be a real survival horror game, where RE3 is more of an action survival horror game. And it's just sad to see that they skipped whole sections of the game, meaning the original. Um, yeah, I, I have no issue with 3 being a bit more on the action side, especially since 4 is definitely going to be more on that, on that side, especially if they redo the island portion. Um, but yeah, like, the, like what was the area? The, the clock tower area was, was missing. I know that was a little bit of disappointment for some fans of the original. Son of a bitch. Stay down. All right, we can't go through here yet because we need a pipe. Not pipe, fucking wheelie thingy. That's what it's called, by the way. Okay, this one's cap. I remember that. You know what? For the longest time, I've owned Resident Evil Three. And I think I have it installed on my PS3 right now. I don't have it hooked up in my new room. But, um, yeah, maybe I'll have to get around to that someday. But then again, I'm just one of those weirdos that um, necessarily enjoy the gameplay of the Res older Resident Evils. Like, basically, four backwards. Like, they're fine. I enjoy them. But I don't find, like, the active gameplay of them necessarily, like, super entertaining. Uh, and there weren't any giant mutant spiders. I am not arachnophobic, but I would imagine some people were happy for that. <laughs> but they did have the frickin' uh, beta little tadpole little shits going around fucking gulping you down a hole. Alright, I don't remember the exact way to do this, so... Okay. There we go. Yeah, gulp, gulp. <laughs> it was even funnier in the older ones, like I think it was Resident Evil Zero, where they first pop up, where they can just fucking gobble you down. Something very odd about it. Ugh. I don't like the idea of being swallowed. Don't fucking take that out of context. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. All right, this one should be DCM. I remember that one. I mean, <laughs> fucking Corey. Nice little fake out right here. You know, I kind of wish that, um, or no, Nemesis does, Shh. wait, no, in the Resident Evil 3 remake, no, Nemesis doesn't chase you around here. I'm thinking Mr. X. That would have been cool to have Nemesis chase you around here, but he does not. Alright, I'm not... We, we can run back to the item box, and we'll probably have to, but... What in the... That just wastes time. And this... God, liquors are so fucking ridiculously hard in the remake. I don't need that, so let's not even bother grabbing it. It's not necessary. Yeah, I think they did like a pretty damn good job with with I almost said bookcase because I was looking at. It. They did a good job with the police station and too because it's like the central hub. You're going back, you're doing puzzles and whatnot the entire time, and that's cool. Um, yeah, and three, it was it's kind of cool because you're 
if you played the two remake, you have like some context where it's like, oh, here's how we're experiencing it now. And that's cool in its own right, but um, I don't know. They didn't they didn't do as much with it as I would have hoped. Leon, it's Marvin. I need you back here ASAP. Are you okay, Marvin? I've got something to show you. It's important. Copy that. I'll be right there. It might be a good idea for me to take care of these zombies a little bit early on. Because once Mr. X is prowling around, <laughs> they're going to be a much bigger issue. But so first... So we can't open this door yet, so we have to go around the other way. You're more or less experiencing the whole city in three. Yeah. Uh, we're two at center around the police station. Yep. Two is definitely more like the first game in that regard, and then three is kind of going on a big old adventure across the city, and uh, some lin definitely a lot more linear segments. Let's see, I need the file for the unicorn is two fishy scorpion vase. Fishy scorpion vase. There we go. Yeah, and the lab beneath it. Is it even a really Resident Evil game if there's not a secret lab? Oops, that's the wrong door. Alright, so now I need to go drop some shit off, because I have entirely too much shit. But can I combine anything? I'd rather use these to make shotgun, but... Shotgun ammo, whatever. But whatever. And there's a book, which we need... I just have too much shit. I will come back for that book right now, though. Yeah, every Resident Evil game has an explosion at the end for whatever fucking reason. It's always a big old timer, too. You gotta escape. You gotta fight an enemy while the fucking timer's going down. Take a look. Yes. I knew she'd make it. You know her? Yeah. Name's Claire. I came into town with her. You can get to that courtyard. Through the second floor. East side. <laughs> I'm on it. Thanks, Lieutenant. All right. Um, t -t 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 yeah, so let's go deposit some shit. I have entirely too much. Yeah, the final boss to RE7 is pretty claustrophobic. The way it's just kind of crawling towards you and it's a big old face in the wall. Granted, it's, it's mostly um, on rails or whatever. But it is still a sight to behold. Oh, let's combine that. Uh, we can deposit that in the thing, I guess. Oh yeah, good idea to use the key on basically everywhere you can. Um, that way, when you don't need it, you can discard it. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Oh, you know what? I need to get the medallion from up here anyway. So let's do that. Fucking up my speed run right here. Uh, the lion is lion leaf bird. There we go. I'm actually still really curious to see how much more in the action direction they go with Resident Evil 8, because when you're playing as Chris and his DLC for Resident Evil 7, you're just straight up fucking punching molded enemies left and right. It's pretty ridiculous. But, um... Yeah. It is showing a lot more... At least, in the, at least in the village section, it was showing you like going off against multiple enemies at the same time, and there's like a big hammer guy chasing you around. Which I could go for. Maybe they kind of go back and forth between the action with regular enemies, and then once they bring the stalker ones like the witches and uh, the tall lady, they'll go back to be to um, go back to like yeah, stalker enemies, whatever. Amnesia. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to do. Um, I need to move these bookcases 
Oh, I know. I need the wench. But I can move this preemptively because it's going to be so much harder to do once Mr. X is up and walking around. So let's do as much of that right now as we can. Uh, yes, I am playing on PC. For whatever reason, uh, Streamlabs does not like this game being played at more than 60 FPS, so I am limiting it. Otherwise, I am running this game at like 170 frames or so. Let's see. Bye, guys. But I actually I own every version of this game. <laughs> Uh, it's just probably a bit too much, but whatever. Yeah, this game still looks really good. There, there's some weird setting things in here, like um, if you go to graphics, so like everything's maxed out in terms of like all these other settings. I've I've done some stuff like turn off fucking film. I don't like film grain. I'll turn it off and basically everything. The only thing that's weird that you don't really see in any other PC games uh, it has different texture quality. It's so like I have a pretty, I have a 10 gigabyte card, but if you go over a certain point, it says like, oh yeah, there's going to be glitches or whatever. But it's still, so from what I understand, like there's no difference between like high two gigabytes, like high whatever gigabyte it wants to go up to, like six, eight. There, there's no visual difference. It's, it's something to do with data streaming, but you never even see it anyway, so I don't know what the deal is. But yeah, it's, it's a pretty game, and... I think the console versions basically look the same. It's it's pretty on par. <laughs> All right, what's the say for you? Six two eleven. And this will give us a Matilda upgrade, I think, or muzzle, whatever. Well, Matilda muzzle. There we go. So that's. I don't even remember what that upgrade did. What the fuck? Suppresses muzzle rise and increases accuracy. There we go. I know there's one mod I sometimes don't like to use where it turns it into a burst shot. Good for bosses, but in terms of like regular enemies, it's maybe not so economic to use on a consistent basis. Alright, so we can get rid of that key. Um, I don't believe we can do much over here yet. I will take the boards though, because might as well. Go pamphlets. This, so we can get the shotgun. Alright, we need to. Oh, no, we don't open that. We can combine. Then we get the gem, which I don't believe we wind up using till we can go into the interrogation rooms, which is much... Is it much later? I'm, I know it's after Mr. X is running around and shit. Red Jewel. So yeah, we can't do anything with that at the moment, but we can go get the shotgun. If we were speedrunning, we wouldn't go get it right now. I don't think I necessarily need it right now. I'll come back for it for the shotgun when we can. I'm trying to cut down on running around. So there's a helicopter, which hasn't exploded for some reason, despite just crashing in here. Oh, health herb. Green herb. It's kind of right weird though. I think we've okay. hit a plateau in terms of uh, graphics in games, where I would even say like maybe even the textures in here don't look like that fantastic. But Claire. I really do think we've we've basically just hit a plateau for like how good how games can how look for now. I think it's mostly like loading, how big worlds can be, and different systems going on. Uh, unfortunately, no. But how are you doing? You know. Just surviving. That's good. No, they're flirting. No, not yet. 
clear. They're also being very control. completely non fucking sure chillant about the entire situation that they're in. Oh, now it explodes. <laughs> you know what that means? Yeah. Dinner time. Claire, I think you should go. Don't worry about me, Leon. You take care of yourself. Claire, you need to go now. Okay. Let's get through this. Both of us. And, um, I don't know why, like, I think Leon's new face fits because he's young or whatever, and he still looks similar to old Leon. And I would say him looking younger even adds a bit more to the character than what the older Resident Evil 2 Leon face looked like, which, you know, it's PS1 graphics, it is what it is. But, um, I like Claire's new face, but I still prefer the old Claire face face like just in terms of like I don't even know how to put it like I don't want to get like all fucking weird and be like oh the face structure is better I would say more iconic maybe or, or to put it simply Leon's new model is more consistent with the way the original model looked um, let's just board these up Might as well we're not really gonna be coming through here again so maybe that was a waste but don't care. Can we combine any of these? Green and green. So we're not really going to be coming down here that much. I think this is base. Oh, yeah, I need the fucking wheel. That's what I need to save space on. Why it's right here, I have no fucking clue. Don't super need that, so discard it. Oh, yellow gunpowder, though. Can I combine these? There we go. I'll take that and that. And there is gunpowder. We can get more shot. Oh, mother. <laughs> All right. Uh, he's got his left. Your face is melting off. Can you just... Shit. I, this is not a good place for me to be in. I did get my knife back, though. Electrical... Yeah, I need that. Right, let's go put the electrical thing in come back for the gunpowder real quick. Uh, oh, fuck it. Not worth it. And for whatever reason, they never really come around this corner. Don't know why. Or maybe they do? I don't remember. Um, let's store some shit since we're here. Don't need you, you. We can put some ammo back. Don't need all this. And... Okay, let's organize. Here, let's combine. Or no. No, we don't need to combine that yet. And this doesn't count for your completion time, I think, so we should be fine. I think that's all we need, right? Or you know what, there was a records room, I believe. We couldn't open, right? Chain door. Yeah, there we go. So let's go do all that. Which means we have to go back around here, though. Because we can't get back to this room from the other side. Run past. There's no liquor in here yet. But there is you. Fuck. Just run past. Maybe it'll put her on the. Shit. This shit right here. 
That's fine. Still got two more hits in us, and then we still have health. There we go. There's a battery we need. We can get rid of the cutting tool. Yep, there's the locker combo, which we already had. Flash grenade. Unlock that. Need a heart key for you. Don't really need that, but we'll take it. Alright, now we go to the safety deposit room. I thought you were fucking dead. Let's use 102. I forget what the other combos on this. Oh, that's 203 is the good one. We can also use 208. Which is shotgun ammo, which we don't have the shotgun yet. Well, we're about to. Use that. I do not like the shotgun on the bottom. I'm going to move you right there. Muscle reflex from Resident Evil 5. Alright, um... What do we have right now? Okay, we need to go back up. Because there's nothing really in the library. Didn't get everything up here? Oh well. Alright. Let's go through here. I'd rather not wake up the other guy, so through you we go. Pick up some more ammo on the item box. that than the uh, grenade so back up I don't think we've even saved there we go all right and the quickest way over there is up here Yeah, those zombies can actually start pouring in from the entrance down there, but they're not. So I believe at some point they're just kind of roaming around. Or there's a couple hanging around. Um, no, this is for the crank. Or no, is it the crank? No, it's... Oh, it's a fucking... God damn it, the wheels for the steam. I was in the right place. I should I should actually get the rest of the shotgun ammo then. My speed run is fucking ruined. <laughs> it's not actually that bad. Might actually be safer to. Now nah, we'll go through. Where are they? Where are they body? Oh, I guess you went back to lay down in there. He's 
still hanging out of the window, I see. Oh, shit. Shit, it fell over. Oh, uh, when you finally do get a headshot, it's pretty nice. And headshot in, the, in terms of, like, the head explosion. Alright, so let's get this in here. This particular section is actually pretty nice in the, uh, right now, give me one moment. I'm gonna put us on break. Let me finish that thought in a second, okay? There we go. Oh wait, no. Where'd my camera go? Uh, give me one sec. Okay, my camera is not showing for some reason. That is odd. I'll probably have to like re-add it in. Give me one second. Video capture device. Add a new source. DSLR camera. There we go. All right, and now it's all big for whatever reason. <laughs> There we go. That is. Oops, gotta move it back down here. There we go. All right, we're gonna go. Anyway, as I was saying, um, this section is actually really cool in the Resident Evil 3 remake when you come through as Carlos, because it's a action sequence where you're gunning a bunch of zombies down, but there's an incredible fucking amount of them across every corner, and it's so freaking intense. I know you're gonna get up, so. Well, maybe I was paranoid. Pretty sure he's still gonna get up. And I'm not looking. Nope. Maybe I'm wrong. Alright, but there is going to be a looker here. I fucking see you over there, motherfucker. Uh, so all you really have to do is not run. But that's hard when there's other zombies not around. So, just gonna mind my own damn business and not fuck with you. First aid. Nice. Guitar, actually. Shotgun shells. I think you can carry 20 in a single slot. There's the battery. That's where we're going to be connecting to the explosive device. We need to come back here with the USB little flash thingy. So that's later on. This is how we get the magnum. No, that they use the same tool to get the magnum. This is just like ammo and whatnot, I think. But we're basically done here for now. But let's not piss off the liquor, which I think is behind me now. No. Got in it fake. Oh, I forget. It's hanging right on the fucking wall. 
Don't touch me. Don't fucking touch me. Do not touch me. That is a hard thing to me. There we go. Alright, we need the... Fuck, I should have just brought the battery with me. I could have done it all right here. I'll have to keep that in mind for the... Well, I've already gotten all the achievements. I don't need to fucking do another speed run. This is just for shits and giggles. Gadgets. <sighs> All right, so gonna go back up to. I almost wanted to say a cell <laughs> place because that's because they they have this like. I don't know, is, it, is it the evidence room? No, the evidence room was the one that we're pressing on those. Oh, <laughs> nice. Um, what is this room called? West Storage Room is specifically what it's called in the game. And they stored one of the statues over there, which has our last medallion. Let's put that on. That's gonna blow soon. I actually don't run because there is a liquor. Do not fucking run, Leon. Oh, yeah, what's the maiden? That is a lady arrow snake. There we go. It's all grimy, but here we go. Oh, fuck. I think it's going to be pissed off either way. I don't remember. <laughs> Alright, but basically, we need to um, go back down to the main hall. Nope, it's pissed off. Shit. Uh, heal, and then we're gonna try to fucking- Oh! Mother- and I am out of health shit. Okay, we need to do- Oh! Fucking die! Nope! I am fucking- Nope! Fucking saved by the knife. Fuck yeah. Nope. Not dealing with that. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, that was bad. That was not expertly executed. Uh, note to self, next time I do that, just fucking book it because that thing's gonna be pissed off no matter what. Alright, we just need to get to this stupid, uh... Medallion. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. God damn it. <laughs> I was so close. I got. Okay, so let's put what I said into action. Let's just fucking do it. There we go. Nice and easy. <laughs> and I still have my health item. Cool. That's what I should have done the first time. But I didn't. Instead I let the fucking looker take its time and get on in there. Because I was being scared. Oh, 
And there you are, you little Son of a bitch. Alright, so dip through here. Shot. Oh, that is the third headshot we've gotten. Um, let's see. There's gonna be another safe down here anyway. Did I not grab the fucking medallion? No, 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 no. I did not waste that fucking journey, did I? God damn it. I didn't grab the medallion. Son of a bitch. Oh boy. Whatever, just get out of the way. Alright, guess we gotta try that one again. Okay, so maybe the okay, that's probably what happens. The liquor doesn't even spawn until you grab the uh until you grab the fucking medallion. It's just this guy. There you go, you're dead. Or you know what? Maybe that is a strategy to do. You can get this up so that when once Mr. X is prowling around, you can still use this. So we do the explosion, let the guy fall, then come grab this, and that way we only have the liquor and we can dip out the closest door. Okay, what was it? It was Lady... Oh, mother... I heard footsteps, what the fuck? That scared the fucking shit out of me. Okay, now it's probably gonna come prowling around, right? Yep. Nope. Nope. Oh, <laughs> oh that's fucking close. That was way too fucking close. Jesus Christ, that that fucking got me. Okay, so now we have the medallion. That was an extra few minutes off our speed run. Hey Marvin, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna, gonna be fine and alive. Cause you know, this is a normal thing to have in a fucking uh, police station. I don't, don't give me this, it used to be a museum bullshit. This is some straight up fucking Okie dokie fucking cheesy ass shit right here. So it goes underground. Huh. That's it. That's our way out. Lieutenant Brenna! Marvin! It's time to go. Hey, Marvin. <laughs> we need to get you to a hospital right now. No, no, I. Uh, save yourself. Come on, I've got you. Go! No! Look, we can still make it out of here together. You just can It's too late. I tried, Leon. But I couldn't stop it. We can't let this thing spread. It's on you now. Just go! Marvin's taking this pretty rationally, all things considered. Granted, he could have uh, done us a little favor instead of uh, letting himself turn, but yeah, has a good head on his shoulders. Too bad he's going to try to eat other people's heads and make them fall off their shoulders. Down, yes, you will, Leon. You will let him down because he's going to die. 
Shotgun ammo. Could have sworn liquors take a bit more damage from fucking shotguns. They're like fucking t speedy ass tanks. Okay, so we need to stock up on stuff. Combine these. Put those extras away. Bring that. And that should be fine, right? Two healings. Probably might regret it in a second, but we'll see. Plus, it should give you enough stuff to deal with it also. Um, so that's where we're supposed to go. There is some stuff on the bottom here, as well as an optional magnum, if you come back with the right item. But we do not have that yet. It's also worth noting that the sewer level in this game is a little bit mixed. It's a little bit overly complicated. Um, like, if I had to point at one thing that was... Maybe not the best part of Resident Evil 2 Remake, it would definitely be the sewers. What the? But we are about to have us an old-fashioned boss battle. This is normal Birkin before he gets super Birkin. The fact Leon even survived that is without some broken ribs is pretty amazing. God, you can see the fucking torment on like the regular body's face too. Show your fucking eye, dude. Piece of shit. Oh, now his face is getting all red. Gotta take it down. There we go. <laughs> I don't think so, buddy. Damaging eyes. Big glowing orange eyes where it's very obvious where you need to shoot. Alright, reload. There should be some items around here also. They just have you are right on my ass. Shit. Maybe I should have brought those extra two shells. Damn it. Get off my. Get off. Get away, get away, get away. You are right on my ass, dude. Give up. This part can be murder on your step achievement too, like if you're trying to... Hold on. There we go. Bye, 
bye bye, Birkin. <laughs> Gotta love how he voluntarily walks over to the rail to fucking trip on it. And that conveniently falls down right now. Somebody's watching me. I don't remember if that's Ada doing that. I don't know if it confirms it one way or the other. Okay, so let's go around and get some resources real quick. I think that's the door we exit out of. No, that's the fucking ladder, duh. Well, there was a grenade we could have used. Alright, now we need to check the other side. That's the ladder. Yeah, I guess that's it. No more shotgun ammo. Yeah, if you're even just going for like some of the, well, easier achievements, uh, trophies, whatever. Um, so you you play regular Leon, you, you play the regular A and B routes, and you have to do hardcore on both, which makes it so much harder. It's uh, it's a good time. This game has a lot of content in it. I know how to combine items. You know, there's just like an empty crevice and a fucking nothingness down there because why the fuck not? <laughs> I don't know why I was under the impression that Mr. X shows up so much earlier. Pops up a little later than I thought. Hit pouch. I think in a hardcore he, or route B he shows up earlier? We don't have any shotgun ammo, so let's not fucking bring that. Up. Or you know what? I don't have defense item. So swing the flash grenades, and then the regular grenades we can actually just use as like damaging fucking regular grenades. <laughs> Alright, so we need to go interact with this thingy over here. And then we get a nice little cutscene. Yeah. Need a key card. It's a doggy. I will say, I actually do like the, uh, Who is that? how they dress up the fucking, I think they're, they're called Cerberuses in here, but for, there's not a lack of better term because I just said the name, but ostensibly the no fucking way. zombie dogs, I like how they're dressed up yeah. in, uh, the Resident Evil movies. Sorry. This is like overly Thank fucking good. Your help. <laughs> Forgot about that. Surprised you made it this far. FBI, huh? What's going on here? Sorry, that information's classified. Where are you going? Do yourself a favor. Stop asking questions and get the hell out of here. I 
feel like Ada is a lot colder hey, to Leon initially in the remake versus the original. All right, so yeah, we can go over here for right now, but there's not much we can do. Police station map. I think there's something we do grab over here. I don't remember exactly what it is, though. Not opening that. Hello? It's hey. a journalist. I don't believe it. A real human. <laughs> Hello, human. You been here long? Long enough. Are we the last ones alive? No. No, there's a few of us. Huh. That's good news, I guess. Yeah. That's of course Irons sent you. Irons? You mean Chief Irons? Is he still around? Who cares? Hopefully he's somebody's dinner by now. What do you mean by that? He's the bastard that locked me in here. I'm sure he had a good reason. He did. I was about to blow the whistle on his dirty ass. I'd have done the same thing to him, I guess. Hey, I'll make you a deal. Unlock this cell and I'll give you this. There's no other way out of that parking garage. Believe me. Sorry, I can't do that. I have to talk to the chief first. Leon, there's Look, some more important shit going on <laughs> than nice, fucking journalist putting dirt against the chief. Shit. This is fucking it's zombie coming. shit what? going on. You should What's save this coming? dude's life. Come on, don't be an asshole. Okay, you need this. Just get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, I fucking love this. <laughs> Fucking caves his head in just with his fucking hand. Who is that? Fucking Leon, dude. It's just me. So I can put that thing away. I, I don't even know what happened. It just happened so quick. I told you to get out of here. You wouldn't want to end up like Ben, would you? You knew him? He was an informant. Had information of use to my investigation. So what he said was true. Hey, Leon, you are such a dipshit. I don't even know your name. I'm Leon Kennedy. He grows very quick in this through, throughout this throughout his turbulence we'll in this talk. game, and then he's going to be the smooth fucking. Cocky, suave, fucking dude in Resident Evil Four. Well, I guess the deal's on. He's already see. He's already got a sense of humor. He says, "I'll take you up on that deal. I do need your fucking card." All right, so we need two of these blocks or whatever. That tool will get us over to the thing that we were locked past. All right. For now, we are safe over here. That is subject to change later. <laughs> I don't believe the zombie dogs pop up quite yet. Card reader. I believe that one's where you get like the other gun. Hey, I forgot about this. Do you even use this room as Leon? I think that's that's like exclusively for Claire. I don't think Leon uses that. Could be wrong. Okay. Um, if I remember, there's lookers when you come back out through here. Okay. Or no, you need the... Do you need the power for this? I think it's best if you come out here with a key, right? And there's no item box 
around here. Okay, we'll come back to that. I might as well open this shit. Alright, let's go get that other gun. Uh, at least it should have some bullets in it, I think. I'm gonna use that. Oh no, it's the stock. There we go. Yeah, I don't personally like to use it all the time, but we shall see. Oh yeah, it's um Claire that gets the Oh man, I didn't even bring my shotgun. We don't have any ammo for it, but still I didn't bring my shotgun. We'll be fine. You, we are going to kill right now. Okay, so you still can single fire with it. We're going to kill all you guys ahead. you're gonna escape I think in the route B playthrough they're already out if I remember correctly let's see it's one of these is gonna have a fucking zombie in it or something Disgusting that they're in there in the first place. <laughs> I don't. Oh, that one has a grenade. I know one of these is just straight up a fucking. Like a live. In, alive, but you know, this is a fucking zombie. One of these has the key we're looking for. One of you has something. I don't remember exactly what it is. Let's, let's try you, buddy. Oh, no, you do have something. There we go. It's a good thing we got rid of those dogs. There should be a looker around here, though. Or maybe that's only on Claire's playthrough? No, I guess that is Claire's playthrough. Um, let's go to the firing range. Oh, you guys are fucking up and at it. Damn, I'm getting. Damn! What's up with all these freaking headshot kills? This is. 
This is abnormal. <laughs> this is not the status quo of what's supposed to be going on. Roll of film, which I don't really need. One of these. Shotgun shells for a shotgun I don't have on me. Alright, I have the heart key. Um. Fuck, where do I go? I can't get to the generator room, right? Because this is locked. And I can't get over there. Oh no, I have the... I have the crank. I'm a fucking idiot. Okay, so I need to go back around. Wasting too many steps. There we go. Right, apparently we still have more use for the crank, which I don't remember. get rid of some shit. I can't get rid of the roll of film, even though I don't fucking need you. Um, toxins, yeah, whatever. Open the box. We need one more of those from the uh, clock tower. Then we gotta do this little puzzly thingy. There we go. Nice, we just gotta go around there. Be a doggy surprise. Oh, I missed the uh, green herb over there. Inventory is full. There we go. I believe one's gonna jump over here. There we go. There's gonna be one around the corner, I think? Or is it because we killed them? Nope. Yeah, we don't necessarily need the um, Matilda upgrade for here. Because you can fire pretty rapidly just by yourself. We're going to loop back around to basically the first area we really explored.
uh, shoot, what was I gonna do? Yeah, we got the key. It's probably more shit than we really need. Oh yeah, take the thing off to Matilda. Let's grab this stuff. Magnum ammo. Electrical part, I'm gonna need that. Alright, so let's save. really so yeah, off with your heads because this can be a tough encounter if you just try to headshot them with the um, or use a pistol because there's a lot of them and then there's gonna be one spawning behind you oh yeah there's stuff in the office let me see if I can grab it real quick um got that back up And no, that's not where I want to go. Oh, fuck. Damn. Bye, lady. <laughs> it just barely went off, and somehow the light still got to me over here. the diamond door. Uh, that diamond door is going to be a lot easier to get to. Yeah, without Mr. X on my ass. So I should probably just fucking do it right now. I do kind of have to go through there. And we're not really going for a speed run, so... Just still, just trying to play semi-efficiently. Like, we kind of skipped out on the shotgun earlier because we didn't need it at that given point. Um, so that was a good move. But Mr. X navigating around him to try to collect items is a bit of a no-no. So let's just get this out of the way. We can get this item out of our inventory. We can go grab the other shit. I do not want to be navigating around him for all this. There we go. Alright. So we've got that. Fuck, where was I? PlayStation. That's the star's office. We don't have the USB thingy. So the other thing we need to get would be... Okay, so... I just need to go down to... Got the stuff. So let's go down the first floor. Damn, getting really lucky with these headshots for whatever reason. You still okay there, Martin? Nope, you're a Zambino. Mark. Oh no. Damn it! You failed him, Leon. Remember that. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Ah. 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 
The liquor is spawning. Okay, shit. Fucking dead. I have to shoot you. Okay, doubly good. We're doing this now because we don't have mass, uh, Mr. X on our fucking ass. Alright, now we got the extra pouch. Well, that's one of them. Knife's way is good. And extra space. Alright, that's all we need from here. We need to go back up to the east second floor. So our best bet would be... Let's just run back across the hallway. You're not in, in the way. Can I just kill you for later? There we go. You're dead. Thanks, buddy. No, don't run past that one. Don't want to wake him up. Oh, Marvin, you're getting too dangerous to live, old friend. Sorry, buddy. Alright, let's move some shit over. I don't have any shotgun ammo, so don't carry the shotgun. Do I have any more? Yeah, I do have more pistol ammo. Alright, let's save. Stay down, Marvin. I know I didn't blow your head off, but stay down. Why they have all this stuff set up, I don't know. Is this standard for police departments? So this is a Claire exclusive area. We can't go in there. If we were Claire, it'd be different. But it isn't. And I don't I think some of these rooms are locked off to us for now. See, there's the heart key. And the clover. I don't have the clover either. Oh, shit. So it's fucking stun windows. You have to go on the real back. So if, like the follow up shot won't add to the stun. Dirty in one. Well, that's okay. So, got a gear. 
Blue herb. Let's go through this door. That's locked. Never mind. It's a good thing we got that right now. Versus doing it later. Nope. Leon fucking breaking shit. That would have hurt so fucking bad if it fell on him. Holy shit. Reverse the flow on that. Uh, I gotta be some Zambinos down here. Sounds like some kind of fucking chainsaw. So technically we could have just flipped that and dipped, but there are going to be some items and stuff in here. Gunpowder. I think there's even a key item in here. Let's get the shotgun back. Oh yeah, dip the other stuff. Oh yeah, since we're gonna get the key, um, let's just preemptively get the jewel. Hey buddy, Mr. X. Say bye to your hat, dickhead. There we go, fake him out. I usually don't try to stun him for long periods of time. I know other players are inclined to do so. Um, not necessarily me. Okay, so we need to go basically to... So there, I'm going to get the thing down here, just get it over with. Then there's also the records room is mainly where we need to go. But we really need to get this box over here. Because it'll give us the give us the magnum. Not immediately, but it'll put us on the path to do so. Oh, what the hell? Don't have time for you. Really do. Bus three or some shit. I guess you can come back through here when Mr. X is not chasing you, but does not matter. And thankfully, the glass is already bro broken because on I believe uh, <gasps> route B or whatever. The liquor pops through and it's pretty fucking scary. So let's combine that. 
Stars badge. Where are you, Mr. X? You're gonna be right beyond that door. That's the only place I can go. It's okay, I got a blast for you. No, he does not bust through there. Please don't be on the stairs being a fucking chode. Okay, um... Can you make my way to the first floor? To the records room. Oh, fuck. Oh! <laughs> I don't think that move does any damage, but... One. Bye, buddy. <laughs> Mr. X is so much more intimidating than Nemesis. Like, yeah, Nemesis has a fucking flare. He has the explosives, but Mr. X is uh, unrelent. It not unrelent. Relentless fucking hunts of hunting is uh, far more intimidating. The only issue we're about to run into with Mr. X over here is that um, him in the same room with a liquor is bad because those give two completely different priorities. One, you want to run away from Mr. X. Two, you don't want to run when you're near a hunter or liquor. Um, so that's going to cause some issues. <laughs> um, put that away. Don't need that gear yet. Or do I need to bring the gear with me? Fuck, I don't remember. I'll bring the gear with me. Fuck it. I don't I don't want to be stuck in a situation where I'm just fucked. Alright. Alright, you know what? I need to stop by the second no third floor also. Hey, Martin. Bye, Martin. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm not gonna fuck with you. I don't have time. Ooh, fucking flew right by me. Alright, I need to hurry up, grab this shit, and fucking dip. Where's the other shit in this room? It? Nope. That is the only exit out of here. Claire has an easier time getting out of this room. <laughs> fucking smack itself. Right. Ah, fucking dickhead. Use a shotgun here so we can get these assholes out of the way. Push you guys. I don't care. Bye bye. Bye, Mr. X. Oh, you fucking liquor. God damn it. Okay, let's dip into the safe room. Oh, motherfucker. Fucking... Oh, son of a bitch, son of a bitch, son of a bitch. Alright, dip in here, reset. Reset, reset, reset! Okay. Okay, get rid of this. Whoops, uh, I'm trying to deposit this. Alright, so I need to run up to the third floor. 
Shotgun's useless right now. Yeah, I guess that's my loadout for now. We'll go ahead and finish this section of the game, then we'll call it a stream. <laughs> Does he not see me? Cool. He doesn't see me. Don't come this way, okay, buddy? We'll be friends. As long as you don't come this way. And then, uh, obviously running will set him off as to where you are. So, while it would be nice to run right now to get a better time, um, that's not optimal. Because then I will have to be dodging Mr. X. Which would add to my time. Oh, wait, no, it's on the second floor. Shit. Okay, so I fucked that up. Not a big fuck up. I don't hear Mr. X anywhere, so that's good. Let's use you. Oh, I could have come around the other way, actually. Totally forgot about that. There we go. Now we can log in. Now we can... Oh, it's the upgrade that's down there, not the actual gun. Okay. Letter from uh, Chris to Claire. Or Chris to Jill. Alright, so now we've cleared that. And now we have a fucking Magnum. Alright, piss it off. Okay, we gotta. Yeah, it's pissed off. <laughs> In case you can't tell why I'm fucking slashing at the door. Um, you know, give me one second. I need to make sure this thing's still fucking going. Yes, it is. Okay. I'm not gonna piss you off. I don't even know where you are. You think you're over there? I'm not gonna test that theory, though. Mr. X is nowhere to be found. If he was on my ass, I'd be sprinting, but... I'll use this time to my advantage. I'm not gonna fuck with you, so just keep eating ass. He is straight up eating ass. This is probably going to bring Mr. X. He's going to hear this shit. Just keep chilling over there, enjoying your snack. Your ass-eating snack, Mr. Zombie. Damn, Mr. X disappeared off the face of the planet. This is the first time I've I've been able to shake him off like this. He's gonna come bursting through a fucking door any second now. Fucking watch.
Damn, I exploded a lot of heads in here, though. Oh, he's somewhere. The music's kicking up. He's definitely running around. Yep, there you are. Too bad you can't follow me up here, bitch. Or maybe he can follow you, like, kind of up here. Not all the way. Now it's the clock tower room, which is the important part. Which is right here. Okay, we need to take that back. Read the notes, blah, blah, blah. Far too. <laughs> you don't have to fumble it so bad, Leon. It's not, it's not that big a deal. This area would be so shitty if fucking uh, Mr. X could get in here. I'm sure the devs tinkered with it, see if it'd be possible. Glad they did it. This, is, at least this, is a bit of a res of a respite. is still fumbling around. Maddie can't get in here. functioning as intended and it's that easy to fall apart this was bound to happen Hope eventually I don't have to write a report on this <laughs> see he's already becoming the Leon that we know and love by being a little fucking smart ass so let's examine you so we need to go back down to the basement area So we can run across over to here. There we go. Supposedly there's an item around here. Hey, buddy. Best way to go would be around here. Give him a slip. Damn, he's catching up pretty damn quick, though. Way quicker than I thought he would. Room and do a quick reset. All 
Alright, I need the other electronic part. Don't want to forget that. Do I have any shotgun ammo? No. But I do have a bunch of these that we're going to combine. Mag ammo. So let's get the shotgun out of here. Don't need it. We don't we won't be able to use that for a quick minute. Um, let's see. Am I really missing anything else? No, I think we sh oh, you know what? Let me take a combat knife instead of a grenade. Save just to be on the safe side. Some of the zombie dogs are going to be out and about. That's okay. Because we are going to use this trick. Might be a little hard with them sprinting all over the place. This is a valid tactic. Might be cheap. But it works, especially when you're on hardcore. Nope. And trying to run away from these is a great idea. Better to just deal with it head on. For whatever reason, this puzzle always trips me up ever so slightly. I don't know why. Okay. Okay, so that needs to go there. the logic of that, but whatever. Got it working. Memo. Talking about the tyrants. Thanks, Benjamin. You're a real pal. to the point this this thing is hmm. you got fucked what up are they dude after? what are they up damn that guy's one eye is fucking bulging in the other one's bulging well bulging in bulging out there's one of each okay Too many zombies that way. So we take the side. Exit. But of course, our little buddy. Is gonna Give me a break. Take a swing. Take a swing. <laughs> oh, not that good of a swing. Should have taken a bad swing. Do not get in the fucking way. I missed. Four. That was a good shot. Or, 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 or. Shit. 
If you look closely in that scene, you can actually see his eyes have the uh, umbrella logo on them. He ran his ass over. <coughs> and she's just fine, Saving despite old. crashing straight into a concrete wall. Saving your ass, that's twice. I didn't realize you were keeping score. Look, this isn't a game. You're gonna kill me. Nothing dies down here. Now he's dead. Totally. Right? Yeah. And this. I was hoping you could explain what's on it. Maybe. After I hear it, let's get out of here. Damn, she is so cold to him. <sighs> bye bye, we Mr. Might X. Open the shutter. We might. I do like revisiting the gun shop we're about to go to. I do like revisiting it as um, as Jill and Resident Evil 3. There's not much on this street, so we're good to go. Is that the intel you needed? Unfortunately, no. Ben didn't come through. Well, what exactly are you looking for? More info on the people responsible for this mess. Look, look out. Going through that gun shop looks like the only way. Oh, thank you for your permission how to go through here. Can't even pull her oh. We can't pull our gun out like in her general vicinity, I guess. What a mess. Long barrel. Custom part for the W870 that ups its max capacity to eight. Greater muzzle velocity and less spread makes each shot more ex make yeah. <laughs> makes each shot extra powerful. All around a great boon. Handgun. A Jill Valentine note. I'm not gonna hurt you. I said don't move. I'm just passing through. I'm gonna ask you to lower that weapon. I kill you off. You gotta turn around and go right back out the way you came in. Oh, zombie daughter. I zombie daughter. Help, sir. Don't tell me how to deal with my daughter. Drop it. No! Wait! Step aside. We need to terminate her before she turns. Terminate? It's my fucking daughter. Ada. Just let them be. Emma? Sweetheart, I told you to stay put. Daddy. That's so fucking sad. She's all about to turn. Okay. Those fucking things outside. Looks like his hands all burned up too. You're a cop. You're supposed to know something. How did this happen? Huh? She's fucking bleeding out of her fucking eye, dude. Mommy. I'm sleeping, honey. Look 
Okay. Mommy's dead. And I'm gonna put you to bed too. Oh, he's gonna okay. take. He's gonna finish a job on her too. Um, <laughs> this is actually legitimately fucking sad. That's fucking sad. You know, it's one thing to keep the truth from me, but why him? He shot, he shot her. I want to find out what's happening here and stop whoever's behind it. Helping people like them? That's why I joined the force. My mission is to take down Umbrella's entire operation. We may not make it out. Whatever it takes to save this city, count me in. You are a liar, Ada. <laughs> and of course, all the other games kind of go into that. It's not all directly posited right here. Heard of the Umbrella Corporation? They're a pharmaceutical company secretly making bioweapons. They have a virus. It turns people into indestructible monsters. That explains the horrible things I've seen. <laughs> His voice is getting so fucking cheesy. Like, it starts off like really nice and innocent, and then he just starts cracking jokes and left and I'm right. And you're like, oh yeah, that's Leon. She's the one at Umbrella responsible for unleashing the virus. I'm going to bring her down. <sighs> All right, so once we get to the next save, we're probably going to call it a Based stream. Based on what you've said, the sewer seems fitting. Well said. After you. Gee, thanks. Can't imagine a real scientist being down here. According to HQ, this leads right into Umbrella's secret facility. Come on. Sewers are run by the city. How could they have a facility without the authorities knowing? Welcome to corporate America. Umbrella's controlled Raccoon City for years. Oh Jesus! That an earthquake? I sure as hell hope so. The fact that they kept this fucking alligator in what is so hell? fucking amazing. God, I love that they left it in. Uh, preemptively, I'm just going to go ahead and give myself some of my weapons back. Um. And some health. I oh, know I have health. Um, any safety items? No. Where is the? Oh, I already have a stock. All right, that should be fine. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and save it. That's gonna be the stream for today. Um, like, comment, subscribe on all the socials. The links for all that is down below in the Linktree link. Um, Game Session Podcast is recorded live Sundays at 6.30 PST. Uh, that's 6.30 PM PST. Uh, you can find the full episodes of that on YouTube as well as podcast services, as well as kind of cut up individual segments on YouTube at later dates. Um, I stream here. Um, the only set schedule one is for game session podcast. Anything else I kind of announce on Twitter. Twitter is the best way to keep up to date with me when whatever I'm talking about, whenever I'm planning on streaming. Follow me on there. That's the best place to see all of that information. Uh, working on a do well. I finished the Doom Eternal uh, essay. The video portion is going to be in the works. I still need to re-record the VO for that. The last tracking that got corrupted. That's whatever. Um, yeah, that's going to be about it. Thanks for hanging out, guys. And I'll see you next time.